We have been investigating primarily the way the brain processes sensory information and then produces responses. We think that this will enable us to better determine the nature of the disorder, and I clearly differentiate this from disease, and its relationship to those parts of the brain that are functioning abnormally during activity. That should give us a line on, firstly, how to measure responses to therapy, and secondly, some idea of what sort of therapies might be most appropriate, whether those be pharmacological or non-pharmacological. I'm reasonably optimistic that there will be non-drug related treatments that will enable us to, for want of a better word, boost the activity of the brain in the areas where we think it's not performing superbly in patients with visual snow syndrome.